So they used to memorize it, yes? They used to memorize it and then they used to... Who are they? How many of them? You know how that... Loads, loads. Loads of them. Just who are they? We are talking about thousands of them. I gave you the names already. They had been Thabit. Uh, then we had Abu Bakr, Omar, Uthman, they had all memorized it, Ali radiallahu anhu, they had all memorized it. These were the companions. I can give you a whole list of companions who had memorized it. All their names in the, in the Quran? No, no, it's in the hadiths and in the book of... Uh, um, the, uh, there are books written by scholars about the genealogies, about the... It's called Almur Rijal. Right, so yes, and this is a science. Just look it up. Go Google Almur Rijal. in the Quran. No, no, look. Where is it? Wait, wait. One thing you need to realize is that Islam is not just based on the Quran. Allah says in the Quran, Atiullah wa Atiur Rasul. Okay? So Atiullah is what Allah, obey Allah is if you read the Quran and if you act upon it. What is Atiur Rasul? Obey Rasul. How will you obey Rasul? The Prophet is not anymore with us. So how will you obey him? It is through his sunnah and through his hadith. Is that, and so you must have. All those people were his companions that you're talking about. Yeah. You have to look up because yeah. they're not in the, in the Quran. And he, they told him these words. Who were they? And the worst because they told him because there's a lot of things in the Quran yes. which is the same things we all believe in because it's a Oh yeah, there's a lot of common. Jews yes, 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 of course. Christians and everything. So yes. those companions were Jews. Christians. Yeah, many of them were Jews, Christians. Everything, and they were telling him these No, but things. but many of them were Jews and Christians and they became Muslims. Yeah, so, of course. Because so you were, see, for them... Because they were telling yes. him things that yes. we, as the word, the final word to create, obviously to then have the, 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 the religion of Islam, because that yeah. was the last religion yes. at that point. The last it? message and the last the religion and the last, sorry, the last prophet. So it was the last one that was created. Yes. And it's the, based upon all the different scriptures and all the different words that were spoken before. No, no, plus, no. The Quran... Plus the new ones. Yes. Yeah. You see the, 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 the Quran... The companions were saying. Yeah. The Quran is the last message. Yeah. It doesn't have... Basically the same, it has certain stories which are similar, but yeah. the Quran itself, for example, there are many things in the Quran which was not necessarily before. For example, fasting in the month of Ramadan. Yeah. That, is, that is a new injunction for the Muslims. Yeah. They were fasting before, but like fasting the way we are in yeah, uh, 30 were, days and so on. Yes, uh, yes. Yeah. And, and we have something There's called... Like yes. <laughs> we, we, yeah, we, we have something called... Uh, Laylatul Qadr, you must have heard of it, yes? Laylatul Qadr, the, the night of power. Now this was not given to any previous messenger or, any, or revealed in any previous books of Allah. You see this one night is basically equivalent to a thousand months. Yes? Khairum min alf shahr. More than a thousand months is, 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 is better. That means if you do ibadah in this one night, it is as if you have done ibadah for a thousand, thousand months. So these things what that is the final message that was said then in the, in the Quran? You see the core message, the, yeah. the core, the core message yeah. of the Quran is not very different to the previous messages. So for the previous the messages, yeah. yeah. for example, in the Old Testament and the New Testament, I told you about the first commandment. Yeah. Yes, here Israel, your Lord same, God is yeah, one. Stuff, in yeah. the Quran, you know what it says? Instead of saying, just addressing a particular nation like Israel, yeah. Allah says in the Quran, Ya ayyuhan nas. Yes, yeah, yeah. that means it is a universal message. Yeah, okay. It's not meant only for one particular nation, yeah. like the like the Bani Israel. When the Quran was revealed, it wasn't just for the Arabs yeah. or the Ajami or for anyone like the black or the white or anything yeah. to do with that. It is a universal message for everyone. And I want to know what the final message was. The final message is the belief in yes. To else. The core message, like I said, is same. So same. belief in one God. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Belief in uh, belief in uh, in his uh, in his books, in his yeah. angels. In his, uh, pro uh, in his prophets, yeah. yes, belief in the last day of judgment. This is common, common exactly. theme in all the Abrahamic faiths. Yeah. However, Perfect. however, the main thing which was different yeah. is that after Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, there is going to be no more messengers or prophets. So he was the seal of and the I prophets. Made, point on that, you said earlier that you believe and you understand that you've read the Quran because you said you understand Arabic because we speak and you understand it. That you do believe, because Muslims do believe, that Jesus will return. Yes, 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 we do, yes. So how can then he be the last one? Jesus no, no, when Jesus come. comes back, he won't come as a messenger or prophet. He'll come as an ummah from the ummah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Ummah means the nation, from the nation. From, from the nation of, of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Sorry, where, where, where's he coming from? Where's Jesus coming back from? From, 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 God, from the heaven, Allah, yes. God yes. Because Allah saved him. 
By the he way, saved him, didn't he, he saved him on the cross. Yeah, you know, he he as a Christian, yeah. you believe in the uh, crucifixion and resurrection. Yeah, of we don't believe that. Yeah, we believe. He saved him. Yeah, we believe neither crucifixion nor resurrection took place at that time. Yes, but Allah has us. Allah raised him to himself, yeah. and one day he will come back. He'll one yes. day come back from God. Yes. So he will then be the final one to return. No, no, no. He won't be. He won't be coming in the capacity as as, as a pro, as a messenger or a prophet. Yeah, he won't come However, he'll have a role yeah. to play, which is to kill the Antichrist. Yeah, he won't come again in the same form as he did as a human. Oh, he will come as a human. He won't. He will come again as a human. I'm talking from the Islamic oh, perspective. Oh, from the Islamic perspective. Yeah. You're saying he will come, come as, again as a he human. was a human, and he will come as a human. But, so, so then either way, if he's going to come again as a human form yes. or non-human form. By the way, he was always in human form. Human yeah, form. I know. But <laughs> if he's going to come again as human form or non-human form, you said the final message from his, in Islam that you understand in the Quran is that there is no more after Muhammad. But then again, you just said that contradicted it. No, he doesn't. You said, because you're you assuming... Jesus is coming back. No, that's because you're assuming that he'll because come... Muslims, believe that. Okay. You're assuming he'll come in the capacity of a messenger or prophet. No, he will way. not. So where is he going to come back as? To save who? No, no. Look, look, look. Jesus already came before Muhammad. That is fixed. That is understood, okay? Yeah. The thing is, he's done, let's say he's done phase one of his mission. Yeah. Okay, now he's coming to fulfill the phase two. So in, as far as he's coming, he already came before Muhammad. But then Muhammad, you're saying, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, yes. when he came last, you're saying the final message that we don't know in regards of what's been preached already from Jews and, and Christians by uh, Muhammad's uh, companions that told him what to write yeah. or what to learn, So because he obviously couldn't read and write, as you say, and so that he learned to all of my hand, that he would be the last one. No more other people, saviors, anybody, else will come ever again it's just going to be him the final one correct no no so that's what you said wait wait but one thing I one thing that Jesus will no, come back. The, the bit that you need to understand is this when Jesus comes back he will abide the way the Muslims abide you see too. I'm coming to that so he will abide by the message of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam so based on the religion of what uh, the, the religion of Islam he will abide by that religion he will not he will not bring his own message or his own book? Are you saying he's gonna come as a Muslim? Yes. Isa alayhi salam is a Muslim. In the Quran. Wait, wait. Isa alayhi salam is a Muslim, and he'll come as a Muslim. That doesn't say that. In the Quran, you're yeah. saying to me right now. What? What was I saying to you? That in the Quran it says Jesus is gonna come back as a Muslim. No, I didn't say Jesus. In the Quran it says that. When did I say that? So are you just making it up? No, I didn't. We got the Hadith. Remember? So is he gonna come back as well? Wait, wait. Do you remember I said what we had the Hadith? So we don't have just a Quran. You see, in Islam, we have in the different. Quran, it says Jesus no, no, wait. As far as Islam is concerned, as, as far as Islam is concerned, we got the Quran, we got the Hadith, we got the Sira, we got different sources. It's not just the Quran. You see, like, like for example, for Christianity, we've got Old Testament, yeah. New Testament. Yeah. 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 We just want to know: is coming back as a Muslim or Christian? No, no, no. I, I don't want no, to no, argue. No, no, I want. Like he come back as a Muslim. As a Muslim or Christian? You said as a Muslim, yes. He'll come as a Muslim. That's where in Quran, in the Hadith, in the Hadith. Sister, yes. it's not mentioned in the Quran. He will come back. It's not no, in the Quran. it is. Uh -huh. But that's not. Where true. is it mentioned? It's, it's mentioned in the Hadith. In the Hadith, it's mentioned. The Hadith. You know the Hadith. The Sunnah, the Hadith. You know the Hadith. It's basically Bukhari and Muslim. The Hadith. Yes. Hadith in Arabic means talking. No, 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 no. no. It's saying of the report what the Prophet said has been recorded. It's called Hadith. Hadith means to tell. You speak Arabic. Yeah. Yeah, that's what the translation for that is just the dialogue. No, 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 no. It's not that. Basically. Hadith is the dialogue. No, no, no. I'm not over the literal meaning. Hadith. Bro, bro, one second. Hadith Hadith in Hadith. No, you're talking about the literal hadith. meaning. Is anybody hadith. actually Arabic here? Because then you'll know what we're talking about. <laughs> no, but this, the, the word Hadith is Arabic. 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 Hadith, yeah, hadith, hadith is dialogue, right? We have two ah. It's not like the Bible. This kalam Arabic? Conversation. Ah, then. Then when? Maghrib. 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 Explanation. Maybe you should, you should tell them in Arabic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's why I asked if anyone's actually Arabic here. I'll show you what you're saying. I'll show you what you're saying.
بس هذا فتشي الاسنان يصدقون بيه طبعا هوايه يعني تعرف الحديث الكلام هذا فتشي يعني يعني يصدقون بيه الاسلام يعني الكلام يعني مقدس يصدق بيه الاسلام يصدقون بيه قوس في الصحه في القران ايه بعدين في الحديث في درجات ايه في الصحيح و والحسن والضعيف والمغلوط والمكذوب إيه. في درجات يعني أوكي. اللي اللي هو قالوا اسمه الحديث Hadith is a collection of terminology, you know, they are using the word. They are using the literal word. I got that. The Quran, what he said, Allah. It's not related to the Hadith. The book is not related to the Hadith. He said, people, how do they say? People, just people, they say words like Muhammad. No, you have asked about Jesus. Why did he give back? Give back. Just if I can, like, for example, for example. You know, you know, hadith. Basically, I'll tell you. One. Hadith is just a collection, the collection of of what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said. Yeah. So the companions used to memorize it, and some of them used to write it down yeah. as well. And this is something and which, important. yeah, it is very, yeah, important. very important. It is very important is because point. in the Quran, Allah yeah. says, "Ati Allah, Ati Rasul." Yeah. So how you do, how do you obey Allah? You you read the Quran and you abide by it, but how do you obey the Rasul? Because it's not amongst us. So you go to what? The hadith. Yeah. You understand now? And in the hadith, which you believe in, yeah. and it's supported, right? Yes, very it's important. Like it's my, a part of the deen. All my, I've got, you know, it's part of our deen, yes. Like I say, we were grown up and born in a Muslim country. Okay. They believe in that, so it's not, you, you know what I mean? That's very strong, that's important. Oh, yes, yes, very important. And, that, and what you were saying that, uh, about Jesus, yes. uh, uh, Muslims believe in he'll come back. That is not in the Quran, it's in the hadith. It's in the hadith, yes. Which you believe in. Yes, we believe in, of course. Okay, good. Yes. That's that. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Okay. So, so what what, we, what I'm saying is that for us, for, for us, that these two these two sources, the yeah. Quran and the Hadith, is very very important. important. Yes. Exactly. We cannot we cannot just say those who say that they yeah. they, they will only follow the Quran, yeah. then they are basically lacking in their deen. Yeah. And those who say we only follow the Hadith, they're definitely lacking exactly. in the deen. Both. both of them exactly. are very important because exactly. in the Quran Allah will legislate things. For example, Allah says to to perform salah yeah. or to give zakah. But how much zakat to give, and how many rakats to perform, and how to perform it, exactly. that's in the hadith. Yeah. So hadith gives you the details, the Quran gives you the, uh, the injunctions, the, yeah. uh, 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 the laws basically. Yes. Same source. Yeah. And the Quran is from the source of the companions you were talking about. No, the Quran is from Allah. From, from Allah. So it's a revelation from Allah. But who wrote it? I told you already. The companions yes. that gave it to yes. obviously. But, yeah. but, but who memorized it? Everyone. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the, the companions, the one who were writing. Else, exactly. Everyone, yes. Yeah. And today, you know, today this is a living thing that you can actually see everywhere in the world, including London. Yeah. So if you go to any of the big mosques here, yeah. there are students who are learning to memorize yeah, yeah. the Quran from cover to cover. Yeah. Which is very. So that's What's that? Even hadith. That's what you want. No, no, even hadith. And the hadith as well. Even hadith. No, but no, no. there are many who do. There but it's not easy. It's not easy. If you go to. Yes, yes. There are many shaykh al hadith who memorize it. Really? Yeah, I know, I know. I know it's not easy. No, no. When, when I'm you not saying they memorize all hadith. But, but in the past, they were. They will tell you to memorize about thousands of hadith. So, anyway, you know the main topic I was discussing with you is basically. This message from all the prophets and the messengers was consistently belief and worship of one true God. Yeah. There was no mention by any messenger or prophet or Jesus or his companions or his apostles ever to believe in a triune God. If you can't find one, yeah, no, no, where no, show no, me? Yeah, yeah, but remember what we were by saying. By the prophets. No, let, let Isaiah let 53, read let, Isaiah 53. Let us, it's very good. There's a three in one? Yeah. Does it say three in one? It doesn't, so sorry. It's about Jesus, my no. friend. I want to show, see where it says the three are one. If it doesn't have the three in one, it's not the Trinity. Isaiah 53, remember all of you, Three There's no three in one in Isaiah. Three in one. Yeah, I know. So, and, anyway, that is, you see, this is, this is, if he was able to show me, he, the thing is he would have, but he wouldn't. Be on the queue, be on the queue, after you get in. Are you hackling now? Okay, let me ask you a straight question. Yes, you are. But you answer the question I ask you. Do you find the three in one in Isaiah 53? The three in one. The three the persons in one. I'm talking about Jesus, yeah. my friend. So you didn't hear my question, did you? You did not hear my question. My question was very, very specific. Do you know metaphors? Yeah, I know metaphors. What about the metaphors? Do you not think it's a bit like 
like where you said hadith, yes. we speak Arabic, so we said that means dialogue. But then, thank God, over no, you, there, you Moroccan see. is here, and he said, no, hadith is actually this, yeah. and translated it into terms of metaphor. Sister, that sister, is you see the, the wait, 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 let, let her finish. Let her finish. To that text yeah, what, do, what do you think of yeah. the prophet? No, no, it wasn't. It was, so it was the word when you hadith, hadith to refer into that. Yeah. yeah. But you Maybe are going to. Brother, brother, one one at a time, please. Lakba, please. No, you just try to explain to them. I will, I will, but let her finish. Inshallah. Don't worry, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Wait, wait, you know, when you. when Wait, wait. So you're saying the three in one is a metaphor? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Yes, of yeah, yeah, because it's basic. How is it a metaphor? Yeah, because that, listen what it is. Why would you want to complicate from one to three? Because yeah, but I mean, if God tells you... Why is complicated? Wait, wait. No, no, I'll tell you why it's complicated. Because you see, God tells us in the, in the, in the Quran and in the Old Testament and the New Testament consistently that he is one. Yeah. The Christians, wait, wait, wait. The Christians come up in the fourth century. This is nearly 350 years or 325 years after Jesus and they establish a new a new creed called the Trinity this new treat wait a bit it is not during the time of Jesus it is nearly 300 three centuries after Jesus now if Jesus one of the greatest messengers and the Messiah and a teacher and a rabbi yeah. yes if, he, if it was his duty to save yes why would he why would he not Tell you about this metaphor. Sorry, brother. One minute, one minute. Why I just ask something? Because this is very important yeah, to make here. Okay. We've clarified already. We've clarified already that the Quran is a mixture based on, uh, uh, you know, the beliefs of the Jews and the Christians, because the companions of um, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam uh, were the ones who preached the word of Allah and God and what they understood and what they believed as Jews, as Christians. No, that's not. That's, 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 that's not true. That's not true. I'll correct you. Where, I'll Sorry, correct you I, over there. Uh, the, no, no, but God, the thing is, you're yeah. The Quran is not based on the beliefs of the Jews or the Christians. That is absolutely false. The of Let the me finish. Are in the Quran. No, no, no. That's absolutely false. But I'll tell you why. I'll tell you. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. The Quran has stories from the from the Old Testament yeah. and the New Testament, and that they, they are similar but not the same. Okay. I'll give you. I'll give you one example. I'll give you one example. In 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 the Bible, in the Bible, the very first story in Genesis about Adam. Do you know that in Adam and Eve story? Yeah. Yes. Do you know who was blamed? for sinning for breaking the law of god do you know who was blamed no 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 in in the old testament yes in genesis who was blamed no it wasn't both that's the quran in in genesis wait a bit in genesis in, in, in genesis it was a woman who basically was blamed and she was then giving given the fruit gave the fruit to adam and the muslims believe in that which is no no wait 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 you did not hear what i said i said in the in the bible it was a specific blame for the woman Yes, and, and later on, and, and, and later on, brother, please, no, it's not the place. please, it's you know, when two people speak, it's that's kind of confusing. Okay, so what I'm saying, listening to the man in the Quran, that's why they no, no, I tell you the story. That, I'm Arabic. Wait, wait, in the in the Quran, in the Quran, the story, that's why. the story of Adam and Eve is mentioned. However, the blame is on both. No. Not on the woman. If it's like both, in the old. If it's both, then the Arabic culture, which I was born into. Christianity is both. Okay. Okay. In the Arabic culture, is uh, Arabic, Arabic both. is actually Muslim. Yes, yes, of of the yeah, 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 yeah. Muslim yeah. Arabic is a Arabic. Arabic. Not today. Not very strong. What do you mean Arabic is Muslim? Arabic is a language. Language is done of religions. And the whole, the whole, because Iraq. For example, if you're going to go look back at the history of it, it wasn't called Iraq. That was after when Islam, obviously, of course, became the main religion. Oh, yeah. It, it wasn't called Iraq. Yeah. And the it wasn't Muslim Arabic, before. Yeah, you're right. Arabic came and everything happened from that. So mm. Arabic and the culture of that is to do with Muslim. So what is the point and you're making? What, what is the point you're I'm making? I think we lost the point yeah. there the somewhere. The point <laughs> I'm making is... Yes. Um, what is your message today? What is it like? You know, what my, you my, message, my, what is my your message. Yeah. Like, what would you hope to happen? Like, because you were talking about the Trinity thing for a while. Yes. So put that aside and trying to figure out an understanding from your point of view in regards to what the Trinity means to me as a Christian or to him or to the next guy or girl. What is your message as a Muslim today? Okay, as a Muslim, as a Muslim, my message to you and everyone else is to believe in one God and not to associate. Good partners with him because if anyone says okay, yeah. that God has a son or God has a daughter or God has a parent or something like that that is associating something with God which doesn't befit him the reason for that is God con consistently yes clearly 
unambiguously, both in the Bible and in the Quran, yes, says that he's one. We do believe that. And, that's one. One and no, no, no one in three. That's no one in three. That is not in the Bible. And we do, yeah. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy That's three. At the end, though, the most important part, one God. Amen. No, no, wait, wait. You cannot say, wait, wait. You, you cannot say there are three, but one. They're either three or they're one. Which one is it? I'm patient. I have love. I have endurance. I'm all one person. He's using his human logic. God's logic is No, no, no. You are one person. In the Trinity, there are... That is not the Yeah, yeah, man, yeah, man. In the Trinity... No, no, wait a minute. In the Trinity, there are three persons, not one person. Yeah, no, 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 one minute, one minute. It's not You're one, one person. How is Why that is it person? impossible for right. God? One minute, one minute. Because God doesn't Muslims, say three. Muslims believe of yeah. Jesus, right? They believe of Jesus. Of course they believe of right, Jesus. Okay, cool. Not as God, though. So, not as God. What do <laughs> yes. they believe of him? As they believe where that. Where did he come from? Yeah, I'll, I'll answer that. The Muslims believe that Jesus. The Muslims believe that Jesus is one of the mightiest messengers of God. Okay. He is also the Messiah, which the Jews reject, but the Muslims accept. Yeah. You see. So he's from God. He came from God. Of course, he's from. Everyone's from God. Right, right, right. Everyone's so, from so God. That's, everyone's some. Are we all at peace. Of we God? all are from God. So I say again. A piece of God. No, no. Jesus was not a piece of God. What was? Jesus was the creation of God. What, what, he created. Yes. Of course, he was the creation of God. Just like he was created. In the Quran, Allah says the, the, the similarity between uh, the uh, sorry. Jesus is similar to, the, yeah, the likeness of Jesus is that like of Adam. Just like Adam was created without mother and father. So created him without mother Of course, mother without a mother. Like from what? Yeah, from clay, from uh, from whatever means yeah, Allah wanted. Wasn't created. So Allah the created. Same way you, were created. Yeah. So you see, Allah. I was created. Yeah, no, we were born from our parents. was created, or Moses, or Abraham. He wasn't created no, no. like Moses, that. Moses, wait a minute. Moses, wasn't he? Moses yeah. had a father and mother. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Jesus had no biological father, exactly. but had a biological mother. Yeah, yes. Wait, 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 I'm coming and to that. Jesus is DNA. Wait, one more time. Jesus is DNA, my friend. Yeah. So, Tell me. What DNA? Know. What are you all about Jesus. DNA? <laughs> he had his mother's DNA. So, there you so go. No, you okay. Know his mother, you, 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 but let me answer the question. I won't finish the answer yet. Bro, leave him. So him. I will answer. Okay. Adam, Adam was created without a mother and father. Okay? Does that make him a son of God? Yeah. He is a son of God. Okay, so he's a son of God. Then he's no different to that of that. Jesus then? No, it's not Son well, of God because of that particular, God. how he's created. How he as as no, no, but Adam in the Bible is called the Son of God. Yeah, could be, yes. Yeah, no, 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 it could be, it is. No, no, no. In Luke, it's there. Son of God. Not the Son of God. Yes. No, no, no. What? I can talk to one person. Yes. 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 In what way is Jesus Son of God? Yeah, exactly. So when you say Son of God, is that metaphoric? Do you understand? Wait, is that metaphoric? Do you understand? Because So it's a metaphoric. There are many metaphorical sons of God in the Bible. Loads of them. Same way as. Sons by the tons. And Eve were created. Yes. We yes. understand how they were created. Oh, by the way, Eve was born they? actually from Adam. From Adam, exactly. Yes. A piece of Adam. From so you believe yeah. in all the same story as Christians and everybody else believes Muslims and Christians believe the same. No, 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 it's not the Correct. same because you believe Jesus is God, we don't. No, 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 but it's not the same. No, no. no you believe God died by his own creation, we don't believe that. No, I know. Yeah. We believe God is immortal, you believe he's immortal. So many differences. I can give you, I can go on. God, look, look, one thing you need to understand. God in the Bible says, and in the Quran says, yeah. that he doesn't die, that he's immortal. Yeah. Yes? But you believe Jesus is God and he died. Flesh, no, but you believe You're going against your own Bible. No, flesh. but this is why you don't understand. The body, you know, a human being is made of the spirit, body, and soul. She hasn't finished yet. Wait. No, do you know why? Because, uh, because why? She lives in a Muslim country. Yeah. Muslim friends yeah. and family. No, no. And on that point, can I answer that point? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Go on. This is why I asked you about your message, because you said a lot of the, a lot of things, which is exactly what I'm saying. Oh yeah, there's many similarities. You're right. Yeah, right. I don't deny so that. I think what's important is this, because I fully understand both religions. Actually, I didn't finish the message. I was oh, interrupted. Go on. Please do. Okay, so the message of belief in one oneness of God is very important because you see, this is what will entail your salvation on the day of judgment. So imagine on the day of judgment, you're you're, you're standing in front of God, and then. You tell God that all my life I believe that God was a trinity, was a triune God. And that according to Islam is shirk. It's something one of the most mightiest, uh, heinous sin that you can, you can commit. So Allah says in the Quran, He will forgive any sin and every sin except shirk. Shirk is associating no, partners with Allah. It's not a misunderstanding. It's not a misunderstanding. It's completely different to that. I think what, we're what, saying, what, what the 
message? Yeah, I am still trying to finish the message. <laughs> okay, so you see, this oneness of God or this Tawheed has been drilled in the in the Old Testament in the New. So you go and ask any Jewish person. Yes, by the way, according to you, Jew, uh, Jesus has a, a Jewish culture. So you ask any Jewish person, and they they understand the Hebrew. Of his Muslims are Christians. No, no, I'm saying the Jew, the Jewish people. Let if you ask finish, them, yeah. the Jewish yeah. people will tell you that God is not a Trinity. The Muslims will so tell you God right? is not a Trinity. Yeah. If you read all the the Old Testament That's and the right? New Testament, yeah. you will hear the prophets and the messengers the Jews, and the apostles. Right? The yes, the mainstream yes. Jews. The mainstream Jews will tell you that God is not a Trinity, and anyone who says otherwise is not even a believer. So what I'm saying is that this is exactly what the Muslims say as well. Anyone who says that Allah has a partner or believes in, Sorry, in, in the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, yes, this is associating partners with Allah. It's one of the greatest sins that you can commit. So what I'm saying is that please, it's a sin because you're going against what Allah has already told you, which is, which is His nature and His, uh, his oneness, His talking. Yes, yeah, which not, we not the Trinity. Yeah, we believe. So let me just say, Allah says in the Quran is not is not three. So your message Do not say is three. that there's only one God. Yes, and he's not three or more or and, and as a Muslim you believe in Jesus. Yes. As a, as a Messiah. As a Messiah. And as a messenger. As a messenger. Not God. Not God. Or son of God. And and you believe he's coming back. Yes. So he wow. so the last prophet is not is not Muhammad uh, Jesus. We're going back again. I think we already clarified that earlier. Muhammad is lower than Jesus. No, Muhammad is not lower or Jesus no. is not higher. Okay. May I? No, no, no. It's not about lower. I would hate yeah, yeah. to say that because I've got a lot of. Uh, I would not, uh, and I'm very careful because I would. Last thing I'd ever want to do is offend or upset any Muslims because, as far as I'm concerned, I wish this gentleman learns, inshallah. So, no, no, it's not about allowed or not. Can, 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 can you go time? It's not about allowed or not. Because they upset us. No, 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 Sister, no, can you explain now why do you say Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? I'm interested. How can you be upset about Allah? The Arab people, even if you're a Christian, yeah, they call the God Allah. You say you call God Allah? Of course. There you go. So thing. I think you should send a message. You should send a message. Yeah. You know what you should do? You should send a message to many people. They said Allah is a false God. No. Because they don't understand that the yeah. Arabs call God Allah. I don't know this gentleman, but yeah. I'm just on his behalf because I, 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 I can get why he's saying that, whether he may be, what he's saying that from your point of view. Mm. In the same way as I, as a Christian, yeah. would defend and preach uh, uh, the, the gospel and the Quran and the Quran really God. isn't because we still keep saying that it's one God. And because she did that, she did that, it was important for me growing up, and that's what I think is important as a Muslim, that you should be doing instead of like fighting about what the Trinity is and almost trying to say it doesn't exist or that Jesus is nothing because you believe in it. It would be disbenefiting Islam and the Muslim society by doing that is what I'm saying. Because for me, I feel like I'm fighting for both. I'm consistently... No, no, you don't have to fight. Yeah. No, no, you do, you do. You don't have to. Uh, no. What you're talking about is tolerance. You're, no, you're, you're talking yes, about tolerance. But, in, but you see, of, yeah, but in, on, on the day I'm of judgment... Fighting, may I please... Yeah, go on, go on. Finish so, it. It's very important yeah. that while we're speaking, in the same way as I would to defend my brothers and sisters who are the Muslims and the Jews, including everybody else, it's yeah. very important. And my religion in the Christian, in the Bible, as you see, you've read it, it doesn't mention Muhammad, it doesn't say that. But as I say his name, I say Salah al Salem. And I, I, I respect him. And if, any, if you weren't there, yeah, and if it was just me and Christians, and I'm a teacher, yeah. I will make sure they understand that. And I will make sure they have respect for that. Yes. That right, and it's not in Sorry, my Bible, but it is in your Quran that you need you believe in Jesus. So it's very important. Oh, we do, to, we do, yeah, definitely. Yeah, exactly. Yes. So it's very important when we have. We wouldn't be Muslim otherwise, you know, if it's, you didn't believe in Jesus. Exactly, that's the point I'm saying. So it's very yeah. important when we talk about it. You should speak about more about what Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did. You should talk about that. You oh, we do, we do. When people ask but, us, no, we yeah, do. Yeah, but I think that should be the message because when yeah. I speak, if anyone wants to talk about Jesus. Only thing I talk about what he's done. I'm not going to talk about what he's done in comparison to Muhammad, uh, you know, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or uh, Ibrahim or anybody else. I'm just going to talk about him. And the list, can I? Can I? Yeah. And I think it's good to have knowledge of yeah, both, but, but if or I all of them, if you can. Talk about all of them. Yes. I would not offend. I would not say, but he didn't do that. Hang on. You know, when when sorry, but when he was saying, but he just did a prayer. What has he done? He, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam didn't do any miracles because literally he did it. Correct. Yes, he did. We know yes. that. He didn't. But I'm not going to point that out because I've got respect for that. I would, I would I never want to offend too. any members of my family or friends who are that. And, uh, I would feel so ashamed and embarrassed because, you know, they are the best people I know. And at the end of the day, that is their belief, even if it's not because 
dedicate after my religion. So I'm going to respect that. Do you know what I mean? That I've got Jews who are also my friends. They killed my God. They killed what? In a sense. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. Right? Oh, yeah, I see what I mean. Okay. Friends, I'm not going to be like, you killed my God. You know, I'm just going to be like, why do you believe it? Tell me a bit more about why you don't believe in Jesus. Yeah. Why do you not? Do you know what I mean? Or someone. Uh, yeah, so, I think, I think so you're, you're, it's, it's a very good, good, very good anyone. message. Yeah, yeah. Good Look, in, in terms, anyone, yeah, in terms of tolerance. The prophet, yeah. and only that, not 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 because you believe in him. Because yeah. then, to to me, to him, to anybody else, for me, you know, okay, I'm, I'm really, I, I was born in different parts of the world, and I've yeah. got family friends everywhere. It's easy for me to understand. But for someone who isn't, who's not read or understands Arabic or the Muslim culture mm -hmm. or religion, might be difficult for them. Yes. Say, yeah, you're going to start saying, "Where's the three trinity? Why do you, Jesus does not? It's not going to go all that." For them, it's going to be very difficult to understand you and what you believe in, where you come from, because for them they're going to be like, well, Jesus is in the Quran. What is this guy talking about? He believes in him, but yet he's dissing him. Does he believe in the Quran? Is he a genuine Muslim? Does he know what he's talking about? Okay. Do you know what I mean? Because this I, 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 I understand yeah. your message, but yeah. one thing, look, one, one, one thing, one thing we need to clarify is this. Yeah. Look, it is all well and good to not to offend someone, which yeah. is a very good but message. But it's not because it's you believe in it. Like my friends and family who are Muslims, they would never, I promise you, not to offend me, yeah. but we very freely speak with each other so comfortably, no problem, yeah. okay? And when I go back uh, home, I would put the hijab on out of respect for my friends and family. That's right? good, yeah, What we need to understand is, what we need to understand is like, okay. it's more difficult, it should be, but it's not difficult for me because I get it. Right, it's more difficult for what, me. What, what's your name, do you mind? Farah. Farah? Yeah, no. I should be more okay. 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 Farah, can I make... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sister, yeah. sister. What, what's the, what's the problem? What I'm saying is like, what, just show hold on, I know that you're saying yeah. a lot, yeah. but generally, what are you getting from what she's saying? Okay, what she she made she, she made some. What uh, I'm saying no, is like, yeah. Jesus is about what you're saying. Does he that's understand fine, that's what fine. you're saying? No, you said your piece, and yeah, yeah. and I, I agree. I agree with you. One, one sec. I I agree with you. You you made. I, I'm telling you, come back. You made some very good points with regards to tolerance, with regards to respect, with regards to not offending yeah. someone. So in a, in a nutshell, that was your message. No, but you no, see, no, my message is you believe in Jesus in the Quran. Well, of course, yeah. yeah. You don't but, so, but, but, so, but wait, wait, wait. Yeah. But yeah, if so I, if you don't, can I may I may I? Yeah. Do you the sunnah? But the point is, we you you the sunnah, the Shia, they believe in different things, and that's why we fight all the time, right? I say we because yeah, they have differences. Same, right? They have differences, they have differences, yes, right. Same with Christianity, there's Catholics, Protestants, all that, we fight all the time. Yeah. The history of it all, okay, we get that, yeah. right? So, you might be offending this gentleman who believes in that, why pinpoint something? One minute, because then, it's not about just Muslims and Christians, it's about Muslims within Muslims, Christians within Christians, there's a bigger war within everything, why is that even that? One it's minute, not about fighting, it's about having a dialogue. You know, speak dialogue, a story. Dialogue, and by the way, I know him, he comes yeah. here many times, no, so it's not the first time we have this conversation. What I'm saying is, no, no, is, but Farah, Farah, listen, yeah. listen. Yeah. I know so you're what's your name? Hashim. I, I know this is the first time yeah. we are speaking, so obviously you will come from a different angle. Yeah. The thing is, I did approach this gentleman before the first time when I met him in a very calm, in a, in, in a very respectful. Okay, but what happened is that when you give someone a message first time, second time, and then they keep, uh, they, they basically understand the message. But now the situation is this: the dialogue goes like this. Look, if you are going to be nice to them, you're going to be not offending them, you're going to be tolerant to them. That's all well and good. But you see, on the day of, we, far, far away, on the day of judgment, you see, none of that is going to save them. Yeah. So my message to them would be this: that if you do not believe that God is one, and if you if you do not stop associating partners with Him, your afterlife is in danger. For me, that is more important that He not be damned for eternity in hellfire. So I will be good and tolerant and respectful and friendly to him initially yeah. but you see there comes a time when i have to tell him the truth that if you don't do this and if you don't stop believing in jesus as a god or as a third of the trinity then surely you will end up in hellfire he wait, 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 he said that wait, jesus wait. is going to come back far, to, far, get who? Far, far, wait. to get who to, uh, to get the antichrist to get the he's antichrist. going to yeah he's going who to kill the antichrist you. Who are they? you don't know the antichrist, antichrist? Yeah, yes you. No man, come on, stop it, brother. No, you're not the Antichrist. And, no, no, I, Antichrist is the Dajjal. You heard of the Dajjal? You're going to kill the people who... According to you, you're going to... He's, he's claiming that he's a messiah. He's a true messiah. Yes. Okay? So a messiah, Jesus himself. Messiah means someone who is basically anointed, literally. It means someone who's anointed. Guys, guys, can we have one discussion, please? Yeah. No, no, not the savior. It means someone who is who's, who's appointed 
and chosen by God. Besides, the point is, Muslims believe in Jesus. Sister, we don't of believe we the do. same thing. No, so then, we don't believe yeah. the same thing. That's but the, the difference. The, but then the final thing we believe yes. in is Muhammad sallallahu who came afterwards as the Prophet. Got it? Yes. Everything else before is the same. We believe in all. So it's very important as the final message, Muslims being the last religion that was created, because it's all been created. Oh, uh, the last message that has been created from Allah, yes. Created, right? That and the last messenger. Forget everything it believes in and it preaches. It we don't. We right. don't. So then, therefore, the last thing it wants to do, okay, the last thing it wants to do. That's why we still believe in the Old Testament, because but I do you believe? Do you believe in? Because uh, I can't forget, even though I'm not Jewish, I can't forget my ancestors. And I can't believe what Jesus was and who I believe in, because then the Jews are going to have a point. They're going to be like, no. hang on a minute. They you believe in the Old Testament. You originally Jesus was, was a Jew, Messiah, so he's standing there believing. Do you know what I mean? So we can't contradict each other. So that's it's why not the contradicting. You're, you're actually the missing the point. You do. You that's do. Why the actually, you do. You're missing the point. Actually, that's that's why why the it's not. It's not. It's not about contradicting. The, uh, they do. Christians. They do contradict. In the same way as but, the Bible. By the way, is very important hold, to the hold on, hold on. You know, you know, the Muslims. The Muslims believe that the Quran was the final message. Yeah. Yes. We but believe. Get all the other messages. Hear me out. Yeah. We believe in the previous messengers. Yeah. So that that includes yeah. Jesus. Exactly. That includes Moses. Exactly. That includes Adam. all of Adam. them up to Adam. All so the ones. Okay. So now, now let me ask you. Now let me ask you. Wait a minute. No, no, but you said messages. Hold on, no. Father, let me let me ask you the question. Brother, one, one. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. You see. The Jews, they reject Jesus. They don't accept it. The Jews actually reject Jesus and Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Are you aware of that? Say that again. Sorry. The Jewish people, mm. yes, the uh, Judaism, the religion That's Judaism. Yeah, because they just believe it was them and there's no. No, no, no. They, they reject Jesus as a messenger, a prophet, and a messiah. All of it. The Muslims accept Jesus as a messiah, prophet, and exactly. And the Christians. Wait, 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 wait. What is this? Fire, fire. Yeah, because we don't. You, you're not listening. You're not, you're not listening. Do you, do you accept Muhammad as a messenger of Allah? But, well, I'm not a Muslim. I know. Respect that he was. But you see, look at, look at the tolerance of the Muslims. We accept all the messengers, including Jesus, including Moses. Yes, all of them. You reject Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The Jews reject Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and Isa sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So who's the most tolerant? No, I am because it's not. There you go. Yeah, it, but listen to me. The reason why is not rejecting him because I respect him and I know he was here. No, no. Do, right? When you do not accept him I as accept, a listen, as a messenger of God, you are rejecting no, him. I tell you why I won't him. accept him because I'm still a Christian. You should. I know, I know. I but if you don't accept him, then you're rejecting him. Yeah. No, What's the alternative? Not being polite or not? No, no, no. But that's right. You have to please God. No, 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 I get that. I get that. But the reason why, and this is why I'm telling you, is what you need to do. What I need to do is what. That's why I'm telling you, you need to go and say what he's done for people to believe. But we him. do, we do that all so the time. What has he done? Speak. What has who's done? What has Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? I told you. Wait a minute, one minute. What has he done for me Original. to okay. believe in him as a one minute, please? As a prophet, this yes. is your platform, this is your moment. Fair enough. You already said you believe that yes. Jesus woke up people from the dead yes. and came here and saved them that way. That's huge. I've well, given you Islam and Miraj, remember? I give all it, these different I give it. Look, it's not just the miracles, trust now me. Tell me what he's done as Ooh, one significant okay. Muhammad I'll, I'll tell you what Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Okay. Okay. Can I talk without being interrupted? Okay. One of the things that Jesus said in the in, in, in the New Testament is that I don't know about Jesus, I want about No, Muhammad I'm telling you because, because it's linked. linked. Yes. Good. Jesus said that he mentioned about prophets, about false prophets to come and true prophets to come. Yeah. Yes? Because Jesus never said that he's a final messenger or the final prophet to come. Oh, really? So he gave you he yes. Made well, show me the verse and we'll see. So he said very clearly, he gave indication of what a true prophet will be. Yeah. And one, two of those things was this, that he will acknowledge me, i.e. Jesus, yeah. yes, Isa alayhi salam, yes, as the Messiah, as the Messiah and as a true prophet. Oh, what's a Messiah? A Messiah is someone who's appointed by God, anointed and appointed by God. That was different than a normal prophet. Yeah. A normal prophet. In the, in the sense that, look, Isa alayhi salam was also special that he was born miraculously. Okay, so he was specially elected directly by God rather than being born to a parent and then being elected. So from his, yeah, yeah. of course he's special, just like Adam was special. Adam was very special, in fact he's more special than Jesus because Adam didn't need no mother, no father to be born. To me, all the messengers and prophets are special. Jesus, Jesus, I do not know. No, no, no. In, in the Quran, in the Quran, Allah says, Okay? 
In the Quran, Allah says, do not differentiate or distinguish between them. Yeah, it's you, very clear. You just said that God, Jesus I thought I wasn't going to be interrupted. Yeah, what happened? Sorry. No, no, no. Yeah, but, but, Why do I always get interrupted? Uh, I kept quiet when you spoke yeah, for like five it minutes. It was you, yes. Okay, so let's go back to what Jesus said. So Jesus said yes. that how to, he gave an acid test, how to acknowledge, how to identify a true prophet and the false prophets. Okay, so the two of the things which clearly says is that he will acknowledge me, i.e. Jesus, as, yes, Jesus said that, that he will acknowledge me as a true prophet and the Messiah. And the second thing is that he will actually talk good about me in the sense that he will, he will, uh, in, in the Which Quran, the message. Yes, so, yes, yeah. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. No other, do you know of any other messenger or a prophet after Isa Alayhi Salam, yes, who has acknowledged Jesus as the Messiah, as a, as a prophet and messenger, other than Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Show me one messenger who claimed to be a prophet. Yes, by the way, I'm talking to her if you don't mind. Okay, yeah. So you see, this is one of the acid tests. No, no, I haven't finished, I haven't finished. Okay, so this is, so this is one of the things. Yeah, yeah. I doubt we'll come to conclusion okay. today, but uh, we'll we'll try to end it in a good way, inshallah. Yeah. So what I'm saying is that Muhammad sallallahu alaihi for example, in the Quran and in the Hadith, there are many prophecies of Muhammad which has come true. There are many prophecies of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi which has come true. For example, one one of the prophecies that that you know at that time the Arabs were very poor. They were riding camels. They had uh, she, I mean, uh, shepherd, they were shepherds. So most of them did not read and write. They were very poor. Yeah. Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam predicted that these Bedouin, the barefoot Bedouin, will one day compete with each other to build lofty towers. Where's the Where's the biggest building today in the world? He, he built it. I, I think they are building in Saudi Arabia. No, I'm not talking about building. I'm talking about it's already there. Where? I think Dubai. 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 No, in Dubai. Dubai. Yes. Dubai. Okay, the Burj Al Arab. That is amazing. The Burj Al Arab. Burj Khalifa. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Vegar, and I'm a Norwegian Muslim convert. I cannot express how grateful I am for Allah to have guided me to Islam. In my country, there are no Islamic schools or Dawa centers that fully operate in my language. A lot of the Islamic programs here are in Urdu, Arabic and Somali, and I don't understand these languages. We new Muslims need a place where we really can learn Islam. Alhamdulillah, Allah guided me to the Dawa organization Islamnet who helped me stay firm in my religion. We are now raising funds to establish a Norwegian masjid and dawah center that will educate our people about Islam in the Norwegian language. The Prophet wasallam said, whoever builds a masjid for Allah, Allah will build for him a similar house in Jannah. If you take part in this project, you will inshallah be rewarded for all the new Muslims who learn about Islam and all of the Muslims who learn to give da'wah and every single person who accept Islam through this center. This will inshallah be an endless ongoing charity for you. And let's not forget, Allah will inshallah build for you a palace in Jannah. As a Norwegian Muslim, Norway is my country and da'wah to these people is my responsibility and you are my family. Please donate for the sake of Allah and build for yourself a house in Jannah. And whatever you give, Allah will give you more in return. And please click on the share button so you can get the reward of everyone who follows you in donating for this masjid. May Allah reward you.